hi everyone and welcome back to my channel uh, i know i've been uh, away for a while and it's because i just started back working and you know making videos and working is like really really hard so and plus i didn't really know what to talk about because nobody in there on my channel but whatever <laughs> um kind of upset with my hair my hair didn't do like i wanted it to combed it out and braided it and everything last night and it still came out straight as a board um but what i really want to talk to you guys today about is i wanted to talk about what just recently happened to me like a couple of weeks ago and um on may 7th i got a call from uh my doctor and he was telling me that I had to get my stent put back in. And um, I was all like, okay, you know, cool. Because, I mean, all my symptoms were coming back since you took my uh, my stent out anyway. And um, he was all like, but I have more to tell you. And I was all like, okay. And he was all like, well, um, we were able to get bigger test samples this time. He said, and because we were able to get bigger test samples, um, he was like, we were able to do more tests, able to run it, you know, run it and do different things. And I was all like, okay. And he was just all like, uh, he was like, Tinka, I really hate to be the one to have to tell you this. He was all like, but because we had better test samples, we were able to determine that the ab the abnormal the abnormality. The unusual <laughs> is cancer. And as soon as I heard that word, I just started crying. Because that word is ugly. That word is mean. That word kills people. And so many people that I know, not in my family-wise, but I know as in their friends or their acquaintances or the people that I used to go to school with or used to work with or whatever, you know, cancer um, has killed someone they loved, has killed someone that, you know, they respected, you know, they cherished. And so the first thing that came to my mind was, okay, this is it. I'm not going to make it to C30 because um, I'm giving myself five extra years, okay? <laughs> but... I was all like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna live to see 30. I was all like, I'm not gonna live to see my baby graduate high school. Might not even live to see her graduate pre-K. Might not even get to see her go to kindergarten or pre-K. And um, I just didn't, I didn't know what to do. And um, the doctor was just like, well, where's your mom? Cause he could tell that like, I basically had lost it at that point. And I was just all like, she's right here. And he was like, well, let me talk to her. And at first I was all like, no, I'll tell her. He was all like, no, Tinka, please just let me talk to her. So I handed my mom the phone and all I could do was sit and cry. Because I didn't know, like when you hear that word, you think of death. You'd be all like, you hear of people who have cancer. They were fine the day before they found out. And a month later, they died from it. Or not even a month later. You know, sometimes it's a little longer than that. Sometimes it's shorter than that. And I was like, I'm 25. My baby's one. And I mean, <laughs> there's so many things in life that I haven't gotten to do. And there's so many things in life that I have not accomplished yet. I have not. There's nothing, there's nothing memorable about Tanika right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to establish myself in this world. And I want to I want to be, when Tanika goes on, this is what Tanika did. This is how Tanika did life. Like, I want, I don't want my daughter to be like, oh, well, my mom died when I was little. And, you know, she died of cancer. And that's all she can tell you. Like, I want her to be able to be like, my mom was the best my mom did this in life and she did this in life and she wore the brave face and she was confident in life and she did this and she did that to make sure that i went above and beyond i had to tell myself cancer is not gonna kill me i mean i don't know what stage it is yet i go to 
see that doctor uh, on the 14th, but I had to really tell myself cancer was not going to kill me. Um, because my grandma is a breast is a breast cancer survivor and she tells me all the time you know you got to keep the faith my whole family you have to keep the faith if you don't keep the faith then that's when you start to fall and i mean i'm 25 i feel like i have a very good fighting chance i feel like i can do this but i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna cry I'm not going to say I'm not going to give up here and there. I'm not going to say I'm going to tell my family this is too hard. I just want to give up. I'm not going to say that because then I'll be lying to myself. I'll be lying to my family. I'll be lying to everybody because I know this is going to be hard. I know this is going to be a struggle at first, but I feel like if I keep the faith, the faith of a mustard seed, that's all you need is a faith of a mustard seed. And I feel like if I can keep the faith of a mustard seed, I know I can get through this. I don't know if liver transplants, <sighs> I don't know how long the waiting list is for that. I don't know if I'll be top priority for one. I don't know if I'll be, you can wait a while before you need one. But I do know I'm going to have to go through chemo and radiation. I do know that that's going to be hard on me and I know that that's going to take me down for a little bit, but it's not going to take me down forever. <laughs> nah, I'll say that right now. It's not going to take me down forever. You know, my family keeps saying, well, you know, one thing about it is, you know, she, Shardy wears wigs, so, <laughs> so it's okay, you know? And, I mean, I just, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really, I'm still adjusting and accepting and, not trying to be in a bad mood about it, not trying to snap at people, not try to be all like, you know, moody and mean and sad and grumpy and depressed because that wasn't me before I found out about it. And I don't want that to become me. I don't want to become a hermit. You know, I don't want to do that. I want to still live my life. I want to still smile. I want to still talk. I want to still text my best friend and be like, girl, I got the tea. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still I still want to do it. I still want to be a mom. I still want to be the best mom I can be. I still want to be a daughter. I still want to be a granddaughter. I still want to be a niece. I still want to be a, a sister. I still want to be all of that. You know, I don't, and I don't want people I don't want people to look at me differently and I don't want people to <laughs> and I don't want people to feel sorry for me <laughs> like I don't want pity if you didn't like me before this don't try to be my friend now you know you can pray for me silently and I appreciate all of that but I just don't want people to pity me and I don't want people to be like oh gosh this you know Tanika Tanika has this cancer and I feel bad let me message her let me get the scoop let me do this and do that because I'm only going to answer the people that I know truly care and I'm only going to update the people that I told before I made this video and before I put it out there for everybody to know because the people that I told are the people who mean the most to me and the people that I didn't want to blindside. Like, either you heard it from me, you heard it from my mom, or you heard it from my grandma because we were the first three to know about it. And, um, you know, and then it's just like, I mean, I know I can't keep it a secret forever. There's, there's bound to be... Um, signs once the chemo starts there's bound to be diarrhea of the mouth of someone but it's just all like i i just still want to be tanika i don't want anybody to all of a sudden start liking all my pictures all of a sudden start liking all my statuses all of a sudden try to become my best friend because trust me that slot is filled <laughs> But it's just, I don't, I don't want to be different. I don't want to be different. I don't want, 
I don't want people to feel like they they don't they can't tell me certain things. I don't want people to feel like you can you can help me. You can help me if you feel it in your heart. If God put it in your heart on you know that you feel like you need to help me. Okay, well you can do that. But all I'm saying is don't treat me different. Don't make don't make me realize all of a sudden I am a little different than when I was two days ago or what I was a week ago. It's just this this will not define who I am. Same way Crohn's did not define who I was. This liver disease and this this cancer is not going to define who I am. I am who I am. Said that meant that period. <laughs> I mean I'm still I, I'm still the same. I'm still the same. I'm going to be the same. I'm still going to talk my talk. I'm still going to walk my walk. I might fall here and there. I might cry to my mom or to my grandma here and there. But at the end of the day, this, I will get this chemo. I will get this, I will get this radiation. I, they will shrink this cancer. They will take it out. They will give me a liver transplant and I will live to say, I am a cancer survivor. And that's that. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Okay. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I mean, life, life throws curveballs at people all the time. Life is never straight and narrow. Nobody ever said it was going to be easy. I didn't expect for it to be easy because trust me, girlfriend, I can tell you some stories about my life. This is one of them. <laughs> but, you know, I thank the people who knew and who called, who text. Um, I thank my job for being so supportive. I mean, because that was the first thing. I was like, I just started my job and now I'm about to lose my job because of this. And my job was all like, you don't worry about this. You worry about you. You know, and my boss... Um, brought brought me dinner to show you know that she's thinking of me and that you know she's supporting and that she wants to make sure everything is going to be okay she wants updates she wants phone calls she wants text messages and i mean i could i can't be i'm blessed i'm blessed i should have worn my blessed shirt what did it say blessed mom that's what i should have that's the shirt I should have worn today. But you know what? I can be a blessed friend. Okay? Friends. 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 I hope y'all can't see that my nose is running. Because <laughs> it is. <laughs> but anyways. <clears throat> so yeah. That is my life. That is what it is right now. Right now, like I said, I don't know how big the cancer is. I don't know how big um, the tumor is. I don't know how bad the liver disease is. Well, it's pretty freaking bad. I need a liver transplant. But I don't know how bad it is. I don't know what stage cancer I have. But we're going to get this done, son. <clears throat> Shout out to my people. Okay, now I'm just being stupid. Okay, but anyways, you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me rant. Thank you for listening to me just be me. Thank you, guys. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep me in your prayers. Keep me in your thoughts. You know, love one another. Hug one another. You never know what tomorrow will bring. All right? So, bye.